Guys, hello, hello. How's everybody doing today, guys? Welcome to the stream. If you don't know who I am, my name is Frank. Frank Gallows on a stream every day, guys, or as often as possible, usually in the weekdays, folks. 8 p.m. Eastern time, that's when the mainstream takes place. Uh, we do at least five hours, so 8 to 1 a.m. Uh, Eastern time, guys. Uh, today, from 8 to about 11, we're going to be playing City of Heroes, and then from 11 uh, to 1 a.m., we're going to be playing um, Vampire Survivors, guys, right? So uh, we're going to have a fun time, guys. We are using our uh, character that we use just for streaming. This is Handcuffs. He is a mastermind, guys. Let's take a look at his, um, I guess his ID. Technology, mastermind, guys. The secondary is time manipulation, I believe it's called. Uh, we are using um, robots, as you can clearly see when we uh, do this menu. We are level 26. Uh, thankfully, we got every like upgrade that I wanted to get from the robotics tree. So now we can focus on like other things, like uh, some of the time manipulation stuff. Uh, maybe some of like uh, I'm not sure on the uh, on the enhanced powers or the bonus powers. I'm not sure what it's called, guys. This is my first playthrough, my first time like learning mouse and keyboard, uh, all that stuff, guys. Uh, uh, you know we're having a very good time doing it. Uh, with that said, though, why don't we get started, folks? Let's give him some group fly. Yeah, let's get out of here, shall we? I'm not quite sure where they want us to go, so just gotta be so slightly. And uh, like I said, guys, I only use this guy for streaming. Um, on, on like uh, when we're not streaming, and I'm just playing the game because I have a lot of fun with this game. I'm using an arachnid soldier. I'm trying hard to get him to 24 uh, so we can get some extra stuff. But it is definitely slow, dude. It seems like they beat the crap out of it. Let's go ahead. And Stuff there. Let's also make sure Mike is turned on. Okay, this guy's. I said, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, and go stay uh, we're waiting for us. The headman uh, is under orders to prevent Dr. Helix from delivering the genetic resequencer. Under whose orders? And Calvin Scott, of course, when I took the four line to first ward, a lunatic brand that assessed traitors but to his resistance. That's why the headman had his troops open those gates so the ghouls would do their dirty work for him. I saved the resistance some place. Let's put a stop to all this. I fear that I am dying. You must rescue the others, Mistress Nadia and Dr. Helix. I believe Nova Stavage is still in here somewhere as well. I'll try to help him too. Uh, pass uh, leadership on to him. Push forward, shall we? Um, hmm. What can we do, guys? We are already all kitted up. We're, we're ready to go. Um. Sorry guys, we gotta we gotta get out one thing. I don't think this game will be one thing. Maybe feel like it's a good one too. Uh nothing serious. Kind of you know. But we're gonna put all the three of these. I have to be careful with this stuff here because they might be waiting in the user rooms or whatever. I like that. 
I guess they were trying to attack me through the door. So I definitely didn't see that. And since we are It's better to bring the maintenance bot out, guys, once you like actually come out to fight. Because uh, it kind of disappears a lot of the time. Oh, we will look over there in a minute, but it's just not right now. I just want to take a little look around. I'll do my best to like find them because, like I said, this is the first playthrough. I don't know where anybody's at. Well, first time doing everything. So there is actually nothing here. But fair enough. That's good. Fair enough. Savage. I guess we're just helping. I guess he's just following us. I don't know if we're all going to fit in the elevator, Savage. I, I really do like his design. Not the, uh... He has, like, some battle damage on I guess it's a torn die. I like the half man, half machine kind of deal going on. I, I like it. Is that supposed to be his hair? It's like wires. I know, right? It's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, but that's it. <laughs> Let's push forward. I don't think we could get anything like that, unfortunately. I would like something like that. Similar concept. I suppose you could say. Uh, okay, we still got our main entry. I'm kind of just giving us some time because I want to reapply this. Well, yeah, our kitchens are good. this? Just a bonus room for content. Okay, well, but we did it. We did it, guys.
so I guess the doctor got away. The feet that killed him later. Hit the feet of him. For a full and kind of spray kill team, guess what? You're just part of a much larger plan. Orchestrated by the head of the details. Um, why not? Uh, you'll be too late to stop it anyway. As soon as you left the compound, the heaven declared martial law. The shepherd, witch, and those carnival freaks out are going to be executed. Mm -hmm. Well, anyone that sides with them, that's not good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, except they will. That's what happened to me, died. Oh, we gotta stop the head. Hmm. So, guys, off we go. Uh. <laughs> this is how I fly forward in this game. Rescue on a palatine. Two carnival prisoners to rescue. Optional stop them. So I guess we fly around like this now? <laughs> it's like, um,. In the Batman Beyond, when, when they had that Superman episode where he was uh, possessed by Starro, he would fly like this when he really, like, knew something was wrong with him. Because I can use them in the experiments. Just looking for the carnival prisoners right now, guys. Obviously, I guess we couldn't be tried out. Let's help this out for a second. Looks like they couldn't be at the
Let's see if I can bring it up over here. Fine. Resistance heavy hands. Resistance fighters. I'm trying not to get drawn into a battle yet. So we're just looking for some people. And I want to make sure before we go, we're going to need a good They, uh, <laughs> they're doing some stunts. Okay. Yeah, but I'm looking for Be confident in that. Like I said, we're just going to take everybody out there, so mostly for the experience. We need every little bit that we can. Virtually we only able to save one person. Uh, so I'm guessing that person there was, they were, they were fighting. The one that uh, didn't get saved, quote unquote. Was the other person we tried to? He just got hit really hard, unfortunately. So, can't do anything about that. Column, so let's just call them. Okay. <clears throat> you warned me not to move against the headman first, Tankos. Eliza lost because I did so unknowingly. I had no idea that he was taking notice from his resistance leaders beyond first ward. Where that my efforts uh, to ally with the forlorn would push his hand to such such madness. In a way he was as conflicted and haunted as the monarch. These errors are my own liberty if you should know. However, that for the passing of Demetrius and to strengthen the bond between the compound and the forlorn. I have made noble savage my new headman. Go to him, Hankos, just as I do. He sees you as a protector first word. I would have your counsel. Shall I inform you? Yep. There we go. So now he's uh he's the mission giver. Which 
should be able to get to a retreat. Oh, elite toner. Okay. <clears throat> Alten toner. So, got some new pack in order here. Really? Lucky us, such well. Much good. And goes between you and me. I'm not sure what to make of all this. First, Demetrio, uh, Demetrio's death gives me leadership of the Forlorn. Now, the Palatine of the compound appoints me as its new uh, headman. Had you heard that? The new headman. <clears throat> the new headman bit at me. The last time I kind had to make an alliance with those that opposed Emperor's regime. I should say that it end well. We find ourselves trading one kind of enslavement for another. But this this feels different. The only good uh, day was yesterday. Karma, just that matches. Um, the former headman's military uprising left both the forlorn and the compound in dire need of supplies. Um, our defenses, weapons, and rations are depleted at levels that discomfort me. Uh, to this end, the Palatine, the Palatine and I have been sending out scavenger teams into the ward. They have met with little success. Our last scavenger team never returned, and I'd like to find out what happened to them. Bring back whatever they were after. Well, one of them did return, in the gully. He's one of the new forlorn. His mind was just recently restored. He's only managed to give the Palatine and I scattered details of what happened. So by speaking with the Palatine, I think Gully's too afraid of upsetting me to give his full report. Good, good. Would have her advice, both as my Palatine and someone that has traveled the first ward. Uh, far and wide throughout through the shadow paths. Okay, so we gotta talk to uh, talk to the Palatine guys. I don't think we need to fly because it's like right. I don't where I was coming. Well, let's talk to you guys and then um, I just realized I really need to use the bathroom. So uh, I'll step away, guys. I'll try to be quick. Handcuffs, it warms my heart to see you again. So, what do you think of the new headman? It's a bold choice. But we are friends with the Carnival of Light again as well. This unification came about only through. Uh, through oh, unification came about only through your help. Uh, and as did my crown. Humility in these matters was your credit, indeed. All of the first word is blessed to have a found the, uh, to have found the protector and one like you. What will Savage mention the compound? We are as. Uh, we are as are the forlorn. Uh, the first scavenger teams found little to bring with them, though they did not uh, sort of far. The last team felt the mounting desperation, and perhaps this is why they are lost. Savage mentioned that one returned. Yes, a forlorn named Gully. His team was so bold as to enter the fire free zone, the free fire zone, to accomplish their mission. And though I advise this a very different character, and though I advise that they use the shadow paths, they abandon them for reasons that are still unclear. He's shaken by the experience, and though Noble wants me to, not the hard to press the matter just yet. We'll have to see if we can find him. He knows, got this. So let's at least walk outside. Because I, I did see him there. I didn't really think about traveling. I guess they put him there for a reason, huh, guys? Uh, guys, I said, give me just a few minutes. I need to do something real quick. We'll just turn the camera off and uh, the mic and all that stuff. Guys, be all right.
Hey guys, we are back. Sorry about the wait, guys. Let's uh, let's get settled in, shall we? Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, guys, if you're sitting here lurking, thank you for stopping by. <clears throat> we are good to go. All right. Um, so we just finished our first mission. Uh, we're close to 27. I hope we can get to like 28. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not sure where to take this build from this point on. Uh, it seems pretty simple, but like, you know, we're going to need maybe some extra things here. Uh, maybe an extra form of healing or something. I, I don't know. Uh, it might be the time to start like looking into like at least a little bit of builds. Uh, so I could kind of get an understanding of like what a mastermind should be doing, like aside from just uh, commanding the pets and kind of keeping them topped off, right? There might be other things I could get, like uh, maybe something else from the, uh, where is it? There we go. From the leadership tree, which I think might be our next option is to get another leadership skill. Make sure they're as buff as they can possibly be. Sounds like a plan, actually. So maybe that's what we'll do. Uh, we have to get to 28 first, though, guys. Uh, with that said, we have to talk to Gully. I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, I think that's a, a teleporter. We did see Gully somewhere, like right around here ish. There he is. There's our friend Gully. Handcuffs, it is an honor to meet you. Well, they recently returned from the Feral Red Haze of previous. I guess I don't have to think about that anymore. Thanks to your efforts with Dr. Helix. Tell me what happened to your scavenger team. I am, and I must admit something to you, good sir. The genetic resequencer restored my mind, but it also restored my cowardice. I'm afraid that I abandoned my cohort shortly after we got into the FOZ. Uh oh. We were using the Shadow Pass to raid a dozen munitions depot when something went wrong. Continue. Elaborate. The Shadow Paths weren't safe, at least not for us. And contrary to all the stories we have heard, the scavenger team came under, um, under attack by apparition. And I my life. When I stepped back into the real world, even more apparitions fell about me, running rapid uh, through the FFC. What about um, dust? They control the fire, uh, free fire zone? Not anymore, not from what I saw. Uh, dust soldiers were firing on one another all in a panic. When I saw an apparition possess one of the minor why? Uh, something is going on there. Free fire zone has been compromised uh, by the apparition, said what remains of this scavenger team is trapped to uh, there. Uh, here, take this. It's some kind of tax scanner that you used before, only it's still pretty busted up from the battle with the old headman. I've tried to repair it though, key it to the frequencies of my. Old team members. Pick up their trail. Okay. Fair enough, guys, right? So, we have our next mission. Um, let's give up these things, because I'm not sure where exactly it is. Sounds of dust gun fire and an operation of screen whispers. According to the damage tax scan, the only surviving scavengers are rare earth magnet and vampire. Um, something strange is interacting with the signals.
So I think we have to kill the soldiers. Spirit, I can spirit. Okay. That's what it seems to be the case here. You know what? Let's give him group four. Let's buff up this dude right here. A little tiny baby bit. Two ammunition on the caches to be retrieved. Need rare earth magnet out. Excuse me. So let's get rare earth magnet out first of all. Two ammunition caches and rescue the survivor. Issues. Please, guys, go over there. Thank you. Go. I see something over here. It's a scholarship. I'm going to target all right now. It's amazing. This is kind of why, like, I decided to go, like, give them group fly. Because we were using super jump before, right? But I wasn't really a fan of it. Uh, you know, when we were using our soldiers. Mostly because I needed more control. Like, I need to be able to, like... You see, sometimes we're just playing first person. Kind of zooming on. Right, and I need to be able to quickly move out of the way. Uh, me personally, I'll be trying to get some more experience. <clears throat> and so create the battlefield. That'd be easier to attempt Okay. 
Which is a good thing because we do want to get to the ultimate. So we want to get to the ideal elite one day. I'm not sure how these are. Took care of sir. I'm wrong with that. You know what? Let's uh finish tricking this part of the warehouse. As long as we're not like going upstairs or anything, that should be okay. When I say we, I, I mean, because I might forget that they're over there. And um. I mean, all of you guys, right, like, there's some things I don't know about the game, because this is a first play too. Like, I noticed they do have their own endurance, right? So, maybe it takes time for them to set up their own attacks as well, even if I can win them to. Or, you know, sometimes I say, like, I button mash. Right, maybe the one press is enough, and they're just, like, cycling like through their attacks. Whatever they might be. Side, we're not having too much of an issue. Let's get our job. Oh, so I got to lead them up. That's fine. Let's get this one. They definitely need the uh, scratch. And let's lead them up. Oh. Let's make sure um, we're being followed. Well, 
flying is flying is good because it's just a little slippery compared to everybody. Okay. So we actually got everything. Cool. And hopefully we just have to call um, our contact. Nope, we gotta return to them. Okay. Part of the free fire zone is troubling in the coast. <clears throat> I've seen the apparitions only from afar when my diagnostics uh, diagnostic diagnostics. <laughs> Nobody judge me. When my diagnostics deem it essential for my mortal mind to dream. I'm surprised that dusk can't hold the apparitions off. They are crack troops with persona safeguard training. Did you saw so many of them possessed? I'm missing something here. But I have some suspicions on where to start looking for these possible answers. And none of it negates the resupply of the Kabam of the Kabam, however. Uh, now don't get all misty-eyed when I say this, Hankos. But you're all right in my book. Granted, I hear the movies better. But well, you know what I'm trying to say. Come on. Stuff to do. So we got more questions. The yeah, good day was yesterday, part two. Now what we bring with us. Theory time, Hankos. For years, Dust has been using the Free Fire Zone as a training ground. Which loosely, translate in, uh, loosely translates into live fire exercises against any and all targets that um, they can find there. They do this with the full but undisclosed support of some agency within the coal regime. Back in the back in Pretoria proper, um, one that funds them, oh, one that funds them, equips them, and refills their ranks with fresh super soldiers when necessary. <clears throat> They couldn't do this without being in contact with said agency. Word from the FFZ is that, that, um, that a dust special operations science lab, codenamed Arclight, suddenly went black on um, channel. Either their comms are down or there's no one home. Get into Arclight and their communication records. We need to know what dust has told us upper command about the situation here. If they ever got a response, someone in Pretoria might have to contain that version. Or they may supply, or they may simply be sending and have your forces. Things are really bad. And they may just be a bit uh, need you. I'm very dyslexic today, guys. Hold on. Huh. Let's take a breath. I, I gotta tell you guys, this is the most reading I've ever done. This is when we started playing this this stream in particular. Uh, the most reading aloud at least, right? I uh, not used to it. But this isn't a uh, grade school anymore, man. You used to call your name in class and you would have to read a couple pages. Um, so where were we guys? Get into Arclight and find the communication records. We need to know what Dust has told the separate command about the situation here and if they ever got a response. Someone in Pretoria may have a way to contain the apparitions or they may simply be sending in heavier forces. If things are really bad, then they may just be abandoning themselves out here altogether. In any case, we can't afford to be in the dark. Get bypass the black channel for all this to work. You're right. When you're inside Arclight, find a way to temporarily override the communications lockdown. But here, take this ghost band transceiver with you. Okay, I'll be able to advise you from here. You're not taking handcuffs. There we go. There we go, guys. Right. Um, we did sacrifice a lot of robots because I don't think we'll be fighting. Right? We're going to be flying straight in there. Hey. Bye. It's another player. They're usually out all out in like um Atlas Park. They might be in other areas too, right? But I guess more in endgame areas, I would assume. Um, but it's still a very active server, guys. Right, now, now that we're in, then we'll summon everything. It's kind of a pain. Uh, I think I could just like let, leave them alone and fly like to where I need to go. For a brief moment, your ghost band transceiver explodes into a chorus of screams and commands that you cannot parse. The city is part of the operations as I work here. And then, uh, 
before we do this here. Let's see what he has to say. Hope your handcuffs are handcuffs is me, Captain Muldoon. Let's talk to him. Handcuffs is me, Captain Muldoon. You spared my life and the lives of my men back when we first met. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. We told him I scrap. What are you doing here? Hang off that dead. Now listen, I've been scouting around the whole of the uh, FZ. I missed a lot of strange and evil stuff regarding the operations and its disruption of dust special operation branches. During all the infighting, I may have um, lost my whole self. <clears throat> Things have gone from bad to worse, but the science lab should have some answers on how we might be able to stop it or cure it or contain it. Let's find out. Okay, so he's with us now. Um, now let's bring the band together. There we go. So now we have everybody in this buff on my I'm not sure how long this buff is, so let's push forward. Suspicious Ranger. Hit those combos now and down with their lungs. Second pick. See the uh, other server or whatever the common way. For you guys, I feel like uh, maybe we made this character a little too big. Uh, you know, which uh, this is how he's supposed to look, right? But uh, being like this giant brick of a mastermind is uh, kind of getting in the way 
a little bit. Right, even when I, I'm trying to like fly and navigate around, uh, it's something we just get out, are gonna have to look with. Channel protocols to vary by this. Some aircraft transmissions covered up data. Um, this comm station array only contains the last incoming transmissions from our cloud. Um, for the last outgoing transmissions, please try it in the terminal. I'm trying to see why I left. I see. Seems uh, some very special seers either escaped or broken out of the asylum recently. Uh, current reports from the cell captain say that those the point them as being in the sunken city. I need you to send the squadron out and retrieve them. Bring the seers back to Arclight and contain them until further orders. Be advised, the asylum are referring to these seers as awakened, but I have no idea what that means. Evidently, they exhibit some strange mutations. Um, I can't let them down See if we can uh, read that again. Okay, so bring the seers back to Arkele and contain them until further orders. Be advised that asylum are referring to these seers as awakened, but have no idea what that means. Evidently, they exhibit strange mutations, often physical, they offer psychic resonance, quite unlike the seers we were familiar with. Your men should have ample enough persona for the psychic defense training to deal with them. But the asylum knows that these awakened may put up a fight, and that no circumstances are you to damage the package. This comes from uh, comes from on high. You mustn't disappoint her. Mark us up. Keep scanning. Well done, Captain. I've relayed your success to the asylum. They should be sending out one of their own spec ops teams to Arclight for immediate exfil uh, of the package. Uh, between you and me, I really hope it's not the IDF. This thing is going to move from a strange to a uh, strange request to something really bad happened. So, blah, blah, blah. be advised that the Awakened are red level to shoot them on site. They are also working with the apparitions in the FFZ, reasons that remain unknown. Several dust soldiers have already been um, compromised, either through possession or mind control. Shoot them on site. They cannot be saved. We have our science team at uh, Better Mastra looking into kind of like that. Uh, looking into how, look into the hows and whys. But until you hear different, consider us at battle stations throughout the war. Lead all of this to the asylum. When I hear from Mother, I will update you all. Stay safe, stay strong. I'll get out of this first. So, Jesus. Of Argus to all the special operatives throughout the world. Arclight is compromised. Rider Mousetrap is compromised. FFZ is a ghost zone. DSEC, we have our own problems. No, that's to say about the Sierra network. The Someone in Praetoria. Someone in Praetoria has just enacted the Black Channel Protocol, so you all know what that means. Um, we cut off from one another. But they has decided to abandon her children. Black Channel is set to drop now. So I've got one chance to say it. There is no help coming. Repeat, there is no help. These people got fucked. That's what happened. Okay, so we downloaded all of that. Um, give him a little heal. It's just the last combo. I see a locked door over here, so... So I have my come on. Guys, as usual, thank you for hanging out with me today. Uh, we play every day, guys, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. That's when we can usually find you guys. I'm 
sure maybe the guys ain't paying much attention to me. I think the guys like George Green, so you know what to do. What is hitting me? Oh, I think they got control. Looks like they have got <laughs> That's funny. Oh, now I need to check this message, guys. I'm sorry. I'm hitting the wrong problem. That's the problem. This happens when I don't get a super rest. We might hit 28 today. Oh, maybe, guys. Oh, but our experience really did slow down, huh? So I'm not. I'm honestly not sure how that's gonna go. But it's a slow way that. Um, I know there's like some experience boosters, but they come with like some penalties. Like you, um, uh, you get more experience, but you'll earn less money, right? So like, say for example, I was to get like the 100% experience booster, I'd basically be getting no money, and uh, we kind of need them for upgrades. You know, because we're just buying them from like stores whenever we can. Um, so, probably won't be doing that. I might need a street sweep a little bit just to get another level or two in the right now. Deputies in there. That's what I'm doing. on the corner. Oh, looks is clear. clear. Looks like we're safe here. But this room might have some things in it, so we're open it. Definitely.
also definitely getting in the way of it. We're having an easy time. Black channel protocol is temporary bypass. Some archive the transmission is corrupted by this comp station where it only has containing. Oh, it scared the hell out of me. Welcome, welcome. Right, so I think they're in a good spot, just in case anybody sneaks up on us. Welcome. <laughs> um, let's check the how's going uh, transmissions. Let's check, well, let's check these logs. But then Jennings. Um, Oh, arc lights are Colonel Vegas. Oh, Vargas. Colonel DSEC. Colonel, I'm happy to report that the Awakened were retrieved from the sunken city. All bags are arc light. Oh, uh, really? That's a problem. It's so iffy. It's so iffy. I'm thinking of uh, just fighting the bullet guys and, uh, like, making one of those Discord channels and just letting you guys know when I'm streaming. Just popping it in there. You know, just just for that, at the very least. I'm sorry, we got thrown off. <clears throat> Let's start over, guys. Uh, Colonel, I'm happy to report that the Awakened were retrieved from the sunken city. I brought back to Arclight as per your orders. The operation was smoother than expected. There were no casualties. Despite the warnings from the Asylum that the Awakened may be unnatural, unnaturally antagonistic in their confusion. Instead, they gave me uh, they gave my men no trouble at all and came to Arclight willingly. As if they want our protection from the rest of the first ward, mother should be pleased. Keep scanning. The attack continued. These awakened are mind controlling them. So wander into the FFZ and get possessed by operations. Arc light is full of ghosts in these crazy asylum seers. Please send help, Colonel. I'm concerned that my whole cell will be compromised by nightfall. Yeah, that's true. Right? I, like, I, you know, technically, I'm always on Discord, but not, but not really. I, I definitely understand that. Uh, Major Loeb, <clears throat> Colonel Arclight, to Colonel Vargas. Uh, the Jennings was compromised, sir. I put down. But the apparition inside him simply jumped to spe <laughs> Specialist Holloway. Uh, there are only four of us left now. Our personal training, our persona training, is used against these ghosts, especially when the awakened keep hitting us with these uh, psycho-Socratic logic loops. I'm hereby shutting Arclight down. Do not send help. Repeat, do not send help. I can already feel like I'm on it in some way. I that the efforts at Better Mousetrap can find a way up to end this. Someone we tried. So they got... They got a fuck. Uh, Lobe is one of them. Fields is one of them. No one can find Foster. Why aren't you responding to us, Colonel? Why are we going under Black Channel? Only prayer to tell me. I can't authorize that. I'm about to... I'm about to toxic and gut it in. No apologies. I know. I didn't say you'll pay us in the meat and we will have unfinished business. Okay. And, uh, guys, he, uh, he decided that he wanted to see, uh, Jesus very quickly. Right? So he, um, he pulled out his Nerf gun and he shot a rubber bullet at himself. Yeah. Then he went into a heavenly healing. Oh, oh, oh see so you go. So that's what happened. Mission complete. It reminds me of, um, you guys remember the movie Serenity? Of course you all do, right? Of course you remember the movie Serenity. Was, what was the show called? Because uh, the show had a different name. What was it called? I can't remember the name. Hold on, let's call it Noble Savage. Let's talk about this. Uh, okay, Gully and some of our more technical guys on these data retrievals handcuffs. <clears throat> but it's pretty evident that Arclay's last operation was a disaster. And that the next step is Spider Mouse Trap's medical facility. The asylum is certainly frightened of these awakened. They're not prepared to tell me. As to condemn the very soldiers that reported their existence, that we're going to need to stretch our resources even further. 
don't want to get the errors yesterday. I, I kind of like that side. Uh, so we <laughs> so we know that a different spec ops team from dust took some awakening to the medical facility co-named Red and Mousetrap. According to the files you brought back, uh, we're hoping to use its equipment to figure out how the awakening can take over this year so e easily. And whether there's any kind of procedure to remove to prevent it. Uh, to remove or prevent it. Uh, we need to know if Dust has any medical records on file regarding the awakened, and if so, we need to retrieve them. Trust me, once those psychic monstrosities are done with Dust, they're going to move out into the rest of the first ward. The compound simply can't handle them. When would I... Zero. I hate to ask you this, handcuffs, but I need you to bring back any medical supplies you can find. So we have to find supplies and records. I won't, I won't have to narrate that one. Movie Serenity, guys. Hey, Nathan Fillion. Nathan Fillion? Was in, wasn't the show called Firefly? The show was called Firefly, right? I'm pretty sure. It just got like, bumped back into my head before I finished my search. They had the, uh, there was that one scene in the beginning of the movie with the Reavers, where she was leaving the video log, and then, uh, she pulled out a cap gun, and when the Reavers got in. Funny enough, if you like the movie Cabin in the Woods, there's Reavers in that movie as well, uh, when the facility gets overrun, and everything is happening on the, you know, on the mini screens. There's, uh, there's some Reavers in there, and uh, they do the same scene over where the girl tries to uh, shoot her pop gun, but they make it to her first. It looks like this abandoned medical facility. The unnerving sensation of the awakened wing figure bomb may explain why. There's all this like bullshit around here. It's this my shield. That's okay. That's okay, guys. Oh, by the way, guys. Uh, since we have some people in here. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got one of our units. Although I'm gonna have to think of some of my good ones for that. Not sure what that's gonna be here. It's a lot simpler, right? Um, it's a lot simpler because those like secondary ghosts don't pop out of the bodies, and then we have to deal with them all over again. So it's going a lot smaller.
was freaking out. Got him there. Retrieve the last batch of medical supplies, access to medical records. Uh, I guess it's us. I guess that's in another room. It's like, because I. Yeah, there's a door right there. See no way can move forward. Is this trying to move forward? Stop. Was it those like little mental attacks are really annoying? I've I've been using my Arachnid Soldier. And someone probably did like a million of those little mental attacks. And uh I was having a kind of a hard time. But we did make it through eventually. We find a series of medical transcripts. Okay, let's get the report. Wait a minute. No. What's this? Oh, I, I think I hit better just so. There's a lot to read. Dr. Jonas Fletcher, field surgeon in residence to the Special Operations and First Ward, Rider Mouse Trip. Just before the Black Channel fell, Colonel Vargas, <clears throat> the Colonel of the SEC, ordered one of our squadrons from Rider Mouse Trip to capture as many of the seer subjects designated awakened as we could. What started as a seemingly innocuous request from Mother has turned into a four alarm fire. But that's not really the point of these reports. Forgive me. The stress is getting to all of us. We did not suspect any associations between the Awakened and the apparitions at the time Arclay was sent to the sunken city. Still do not have any ver um, verifiable evidence to support such a claim. Uh, we, what we do know is that the presence of the Awakened caused nearly all of the seers attached to the death cells here in the First War to turn on us. As well, um, the current theory is that the Awakened carry some kind of psychic Contagion, which normally help these ears can catch. Readily so. Again, what any of this has to do with the apparitions is still under investigation. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just process this. Yeah, we can carry some kind of psychic contagion, which normal healthy seers. Oh, so there's like, there's like some weird seers, and then they can affect like the regular. Unawakened seers. The mutations that manifest in the awakened seem to be psychomor uh, psychomorphic in nature, indicative of exposure to enormous amounts of nth gen uh, psychic stress. Uh, but we do not have an exact pattern yet. These mutations come in degrees of psychic severity from barely noticeable to almost super uh, super terrestrial level. Physiology. Whatever the pattern, the severity of uh, physical mutations in Awaken seem to correspond to their levels of psychic power. The reasons for this are currently in. So, just because they look a certain way doesn't mean that they or a little power. We may, we may never make the connection between the Awaken and the apparitions. Once our initial reports were sent to Colonel Vargas at DSEC, uh, who then relays such findings to the asylum. Uh, it resulted in immediate conflict in general reports of some dust. Mother has deemed that this secret medical facility be condemned and quietly disappeared. Oh, nice. Black Channel will lock us all down, so I fear this may be my last report. In that case, I would like to formally put on the record that I believe that a magician should have been sent here instead of a doctor. Uh, the Awakened I can work on. Correction could have worked on. The Asylum given us adequate protection. Uh, but just what am I supposed to do about the apparitions? What advice can I give that doesn't end up straying into the occult? Okay, fair enough. Sub uh, a subject I never studied. Am I supposed to perform an autopsy on a ghost? Is. 
I think they all wanted. Well, well I'm a big idiot, huh? <laughs> I'm a big idiot. I was gonna say, I think we cleared them all out because they wanted to be here. The surgeon. So that's what I was doing. Let me check right here. Playing kind of like some over there. Got to step our game up. being covered by our pets, which will, yeah, that's fine for now. And my reaction time is very low. I feel it. It's off today. Alright, so let's find this last patch and we'll get the supplies, guys. Alright, don't, don't forget, guys, we have uh, till uh, 11 tonight, and then we're going to switch over to Vampire Survivors, so we can brush up. Because, uh, you know, each mission is like roughly 20 to 30 minutes, assuming you beat the whole mission, so I would like to get a little bit more time than an hour. See these supplies. Maybe we just overlooked them. Let's make sure we're not missing anything here. It's not good. That room is There was one set of supplies there. Uh -huh. So we did overlook it. There we go. Oh, we did it, guys. We did it. Just there, part three, visitation rights. What the medical records only really show that dust is playing the right time, too. Um, the words inconclusive and possible are used about every third sentence here. There has to be some truth to it, though. Between the dispatches you found that arc light, these medical records is a connection to this, um, that the asylum doesn't want getting out of the wall. So there's a reason that my people call themselves the forlorn, even in the armpit of Cole's regime. There's a monster around every corner. We're often looked on as the worst of them all. You can't forget um, what we did back when we were rabid. Uh, so sometimes at your worst, you start to believe the rest of the orders. <clears throat> Look, I'm embarrassing myself. Your actions here in the gumbo have given the full run some hope. And here's the finale. You need to consult an expert on psychic phenomena. You know about mind control. So that next to nothing. I'm going to assume that these awakening are an immediate threat to the compound. Our only psychic at um, are those in the carnival of light. I understand the last headman shook that line so pretty bad. So, I just speak. Yes, sir, I can't wait, sir. Good, I guess I'll be feeling all right because we can't afford to lose you. Okay. And uh, no group flashing in the guns, you're just going to be figuring out there, guys. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. Uh, I, I'm i not sure what emotes like we should have, guys, right? Maybe we'll just have, like, little funny ones, I suppose. And I was just checking that one because I, I like that stupid little cat. <laughs> and uh, I was hoping that it would work. So it worked, guys. We have access to... Uh... Oh. We'll take a look at him. Agree, agree. We all think you've come to... 
You come to get the skin on those new bone polishers running amok in the Persona Escape Iron Unit. But that's what I said now, and look, my coins are on it all being a con. He's awakened their CUs of a sort. And the CR network is one of the biggest cons of all. Spit it out. Hey now, boy. Don't like yourself with that time, hear me? Right rude you are. Listen, the psychics of the carnival, including yours truly, were not even about to their fate. I'm hoping the thoughts of those awaken. It could become a two-way street, and I like my mind right where it sits, you know? Seers are serious business, and those whack jobs are off their leash. The most famous of the seers got away from the network is Katie Douglas. Maybe you already know her celebrity she is, well, some folks. Uh, I can't mistake. Take your Thank you. Thank you, Rumble. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, I I want to I want to have like a gift of justice steak being thrown at me. That's what I want. But someone to figure out how to do that. If I can't do that, it might be beyond my capability to make a simple gift. I just wanted to I wanted just to be like a big old roast beef. Uh, guys, by the way, I hope you had a good day. All right, so I want to apologize for my out first. There we go. Sorry, right, lad. Don't fret. All of us first orders get the shout sometimes. Uh, the gumbo can get to a moment. I'm going to find Katie. For a jailbreak that wants to stay off grid, Katie Douglas is exactly take great, uh, take great pains to hide her whereabouts. Scuttlebutts that she had, she and the few new seers rescued from the network have holed up in office 1381. Name of said Thomas Al is both an inside joke and a dare to anyone on the whole side that might be thinking of coming after her. Look for Katie Douglas there. Okay. So, she doesn't want to be found. She doesn't want to be talked to. She doesn't want to be bothered. We're going to go find the Um, With that said, let's take a breath for a minute, guys. All this reading is getting to me, uh, definitely. I've never read so much until we started playing this. Like, not aloud. Check my alerts, guys. Right, because we do have this, uh, we do have this emote here. Uh, let's test it out. Uh, if I can. Okay, there we go. Oh, so cute. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, let's get to first word, guys. Right? I mean, let's get to first word. Let's get to the office. Oh. I don't know why we're flying like that, because we're in surrounded by four walls. There we go. Oh, I just I keep saying because I do have Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it on my phone. Uh, it's something I never used that I always intended to just you know to have more social media presence. But now that it's there, I don't feel like taking it off. I don't I don't even like log on to it, but I keep getting little notifications about that um, happening. Yes, you can. You should be able to. We'll probably turn that one into like probably a, a like a free free one or like some channel points. Uh, I think I was trying to make a channel points earlier. We'll probably switch it over, right? Because we'll probably get rid of the what's this one here? Ah, right. Okay, guys. So I was in the process of turning this in, this one into
There you go. It's called no sound, right? I have to rename it. Which means, um, actually, guys, while, while we're here, let's fix that because I have I have one that was like bits. We're gonna get rid of the bits one. And then we'll make the channel point one, which is no sound. We're gonna call it. Okay. So there should be better. And uh, let me test it as well. No, it was just used. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do it again. Okay, there we go. Okay. So I think we fixed that all. But I want something like that similar where it's just like a stake being thrown at me. Do your thing, my friend. Do your thing. <laughs> oh, if I did play the State of the Union. No. We're not very political here. Yeah. I try not to be honest. She is my patient main host. I mean our host, but yes, we will have to deal with them. Scalpel. What the hell is going on? Two banquets of envious apparitions using this host to eat. Interesting. Sometimes they're a little too passive, right? Like some sometimes there'll be an enemy right next to me and they'll refuse to attack, which you know, I understand why. Because it says a whole chain of action. Sometimes I would really like them to just kind of annihilate everything. Maybe we'll have to put another set of powers up. Right, and then I could change all the stuff where they follow me uh, to like really aggressive. But that might be something worth looking into. Maybe. doing that we'll push forward a little bit. Let's take a look around. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Um oh yeah guys so I mentioned this yesterday but I wanted I wanted like the weekend to be like a movie night. But it seems like it's not that good of an idea in retrospect. Like, even those old movies, like, I don't know who, like, actually owns the rights to them, so we shouldn't do it. <clears throat> so, maybe on the weekend what we're gonna do is, uh, either Saturday or Sunday, we'll do, like, a really big push for this game. Because I do want to make it to Endgame, guys, sooner rather than later, or close to Endgame. So, we'll see if we can knock out a bunch of story. And that'll be the plan for that day. But unfortunately, we don't have, like I said, we don't have like Discord set up or anything like that. And I know a lot of streamers, they do have like 
uh, you know, they run like movie night and stuff like that, specifically in their Discord to avoid these issues. You, after you bring apparitions into my house and they kill my sisters, you know what you've done? You have no idea the apparitions were after you until I arrived. You scans your mind. You're telling the truth. But you you had some idea they might be. But you have one inside you. Or was it two? And I guess that string of confusion I'm not reading in your head is what you call an excuse. You guys hear that sound? Sorry, for guys. <clears throat> You're telling the truth, but you you had some idea they might be. Yeah, honestly, I don't. I think all of us don't really use it too much. I have it for sure, right? It's always on. Um, but if we want to do movie nights and things like that, I think we might need to. If you guys want, there's no pressure, right? We don't have to do movie nights or anything like that. Most people do host it there, um, just so uh, you know they don't get in trouble over here. If we are gonna have a movie night, so oh, and I guess that a string of confusion I'm not reading in your head is what you call an excuse. Yeah, so that's not gonna work with me. Wait, can you hear that more coming? Excuses get ready. I don't know what you can show. Let's see. I think I can figure it out. I know I've done it in the past, but not movie nights, but more like like screen sharing for when I've been playing games. You know, before we did all this, or started doing all this. So we'll see. We'll see. I have to uh, plan for it. And then I'll have to make a proper channel with, like, you know, all the bullshit. Uh, the, the only thing that bothers me is that I'm going to have to, like, actually monitor it, guys, right? Because I don't want it to be one of those, like, weird, you know, weird discords you hear about where you're, like, inappropriate things like you know in case people start fill, uh, filling up the channel uh, you know where weird things are happening so I'm gonna have to stay on top of them but okay Kelly your mind says you hear about the awakened but they have to do with all these apparitions everywhere that's what I was hoping you could tell me I'll find I'll help you out looks like you've been trying to figure out the connection between the apparitions and the awakened for a while and I see that you've been doing some good for the first word along the way Things are going to get very ugly before we reach the end of this road. Let's be clear, I won't forget what was done to my sisters and I will always associate it with you. I can tell Savage on the board. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go right now. Alright guys, cool. And uh, let's get ahead and call me. Hold on, handcuffs. Katie Douglas was something of a legend in Pretoria proper. What's Pretoria? I have no idea. If anyone can help us get to the bottom of Awaken, you know, dust fell uh, so easily to their problem. She's our best bet. Watch yourself around her. She's got a personal agenda that doesn't always play nice with others. <clears throat> so that's our new contact. Mm -hmm. Um, guys, let's take a few minutes. I do want to grab some refreshments. Something to drink, guys. We'll use the restroom real quick. A oh. few minutes, guys. Like I said, don't forget, guys, we have roughly an hour and a half left of this game in particular. Uh, Dan, from 11 to 1, we're going to be playing Vampire Survivors. We want to get some uh, good rounds in there. And we do have a lot to do. So, um, the time is somewhat limited with this game tonight. With that said, I'll be right back, guys. A couple minutes. Not too long.
Okay, guys, <clears throat> I'm back. Let's get settled in. Get all settled in, folks. And I think we're ready to push forward, guys. As soon as we hydrate. Okay, so we gotta talk to Katie Douglas. Also, let's make sure that our microphone is on. That is something I forget to do quite often, guys. talking here. Hank comes, guess what? A package arrived in the middle of the day. And it's it's all the intel you gathered on the awakened aberrations from the last hour, and then by mail. Met, I recently read your mind and downloaded the bits I needed. Cool? Cool. So what uh, what we know is that the asylum sent a dust cell to retrieve some of her special children to the second city. <clears throat> we don't know how these special children aka the awakened uh, there in the first place, but they were recovered and brought to Arclight. And that's when things lost the plot. The Awakened went crazy, some of them mind controlling the Dust Rangers inside, and others fleeing to other parts of the Free Fire Zone, and almost always accompanied by the apparitions. And then there's some hogwash about medical records at Better Mousetrap, the guy you know where. Oh, that sound about right? I think we could like skip these parts here, because they give us the mission here. I didn't think of it. Um, oh, I didn't think of that. Good idea. Get me into enough of their minds and again triangulate our next likely step. And yeah, I said triangulate with Papa my King. So soon it won't happen again. I guess uh, I guess we actually did miss a big chunk right there. Fuck. That's fine. Defeat three peculiar leaders. And there happened to be a few right here, guys. After we kill these leaders, we should definitely just go put our points in for our levels. Oh, they're not using group five. That's the problem we're having here. Let's see. That should be a big one. Let's make sure we get all of these. Let's, let, let's dust off this ghost. Even though they're not really worth it. Hmm. Actually, I don't think we can. No, we can't. Here we go. Let's do it, guys. Let's level up. <clears throat> Let's level up a little bit. Where is no place for the entry? Let's <laughs> try. Uh, not sure where to put it. Oh wait. Anything, guys. We 
might have a shit ton of enhancements that we can put as well. Uh, These things here we're gonna get rid of pretty soon, oh wait. Just to get full position, first to work. That's the plan right now. He's putting up a subliminal psychic safety measure test. Hasn't been alluded to your presence yet. Wait, does she love us? She is. Reason and emotion usually found in dust. In the dust lexicon. Okay. So there are three. I also forgot to take a look at the so we can get right into this. There we go. Okay. Experience I can get. So we're kind of gonna just kind of wipe the floor with these guys, meet them up, pop up, up. If we can manage it, which I think we can. Yeah, we'll 
think we need a buff. Maybe just like the first buff. I don't need like boost of speed or anything. Not right now. These are kind of the uh, tripping through. Single file guys, single file. They all made it in pretty perfectly too. She's, hopefully she's on this too. We gotta keep an eye on her as well. Because I don't see her here. Let's uh let's just clear the room out. She'll come in up there. And now we'll have to backtrack a little bit. Mm, just a little bit guys, or it should be a good. Oh, there they are. There's a couple of swarms here. 
lost another robot sauce. It's okay though guys, right? Pretty pretty simple so far. Here, uh, 1381. I was hoping to verify her existence. Right, give me a minute. Uh, so she's back there somewhere. Let's see if we can find her. Let's um, stop flying, because sometimes I move a little too fast. So I can see her a little bit easier, right? And then we'll summon them all um, as we talk to that robot, just in case we get ambushed or anything. It's an unaccomplice of CR-1381. She's an enemy of the state. So you by association. Then why are you bothering to speak to me? <laughs> sir. Why are you bothering to speak to me, sir? Is what you meant to say. You will address me properly. It's not going to happen. It's classified. Which part? Arclight? But it's true. What are you doing here? All of it classified. Even your failed mission? As far as I'm concerned, my mission to shut down the CNN network is still in progress. By definition, there is not a failure. You failed to remember it was classified. You are correct. Therefore, I'm reporting you to uh, Corporal Which means you will also get executed if it is ever found out that I hastily gave up classified information. It makes enough circular sense in my uh, thought box, Corporal. If you say so, never happened. Colonel Vargas, head of the Special Operations at First War, found out that the Seer network had been compromised. The Awakened had contaminated it for unknown reasons. Since I am naturally resistant to mind control, I was promoted to command status of this cell. Orders to shut down the Seer network with red level threat contingency bypass codes. Uh, the Awakened and the apparitions in the facility were too strong. I saw with Judah this fallback position to await further orders. Because of the Black Channel, no such orders will come. And of course, my men have decided to ignore me, as you have seen. But they'll be executed. We're still on mission with the war. I'm not forgetting the association with here. One three A one makes you a war criminal, and I know she would be a val uh, and I know she would be valuable on this mission. I am granting her a temporary stay of execution. 
you, Corporal, may be given a pardon, however, if we succeed, and we will succeed. All right, we'll meet you at the scene. See you there, sir. Remember your station, Corporal. Bunch of freaky shit going on in this in this particular map, huh? Ghosts. What well, looks like a like a giant alien was here. Psychics. Chicks. Oh, we gotta go all the way over there. Yeah, okay. Oh wait. <laughs> He's actually right here. I know that guy is. Well, I didn't see that one coming. I can't often say that being a psychic at all. Um, it looks like we're going to have to work with a machine who takes orders from the dust and bunch of takes orders from the asylum and who's on loan from the IDF. That's just great. And yeah, I guess I'm going to have to get over working with said uh, Officer Orb since he has the network's bypass codes. Look, Heather. I come across as a bit well, you know. They can't have my sisters in the SEER network threatened like this. They're innocent and they need our help. Uh, so we're hoping. You get me? This is going to be a long road for us, Killer, and I don't really want to be seen tagging along with you. Not physically, anyway, but if you need to reach me, just scream my name really loud in your head. Really, really loud. It'll be annoying enough that I'll probably answer. Like trying to protocols. Shut it all down. The Awakened have taken control of the Sierra Network in First War. That's how they were able to take down those dust facilities so easily. Every Seer connected to the network started working for them. I'm not sure how the Awakened did it, but we have to shut down the local Sierra Network. I'm not going to get all shot up again like last time. So I'll teleport in when you and Officer over here a safe passage to the Sierra Network controls. Then we'll see if this white pants goes. Let us access them. Let us access them. Sounds like a plan. I'm still trying to make uh, that connection. Maybe the apparitions are a ghost of dead psychics. Maybe we can um, table all the speculation until after we shut down the Sierra Network. Okay. I do like the set of missions. So. Some of the enemies are kind of annoying, though. I don't really like the whole, like, you know, you kill the enemy and then, like, a, a ghost pops out of it. And the deal, because I, I like to, you know, hit the target hard and move on. <laughs> right? It kind of uh, inflates what you need to do there a little bit. There's some say more content, I'll say. Slightly inflated content. I wanted to say this was supposed to be like a more difficult zone though. But I could be wrong on that. Yeah. So Orb is waiting for you with the Seer Network access key. Okay. Okay, guys. We're out of water. That's okay. Oops. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a little attack drone. For cat ears. Hopefully those uh, those are guns on his side, right? Some side mounted turrets. He's just knocked out. Sheesh. 
He's just knocked out. They'll be okay. You see how they were convulsing on the floor? That was a, a healing convulsion they were going through. Send them. Push it. Right there, we find. Thankfully, it only seems like that <clears throat> for commands, right? Like, say I'm using just like regular blockers. It's pretty much a one and done, one and done. Traveling at a slow pace, so there he is. Where there he says, okay. was going on, right? I noticed there was like some secret lines up, so maybe they were like the opener. I've never seen him fight. I guess he's not going to fight. Oh, 
where that guy came from. I guess he, uh, I guess he was gonna beat up again, like, far back. Sometimes they run, like, all the way across the map if they can to get away from it. Right, I, I think it's, like, twofold. This one is to get away, and two is, like, to lead you to, um, more enemies. At least I'm pretty sure that's what they do when they run like that. Oh, talk to Katie. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was wondering what was going to go on. There we go. Something is blocking my access to the network. The bypass codes are supposed to fix that. Yeah, well, no. Or so Earth's bypass codes are junk. The weekend must have put up a new security comment measures after his team retreated. Katie, think. Think faster. Yes. Uh, okay. so, there's something inside the CNO work, I mean, besides me. Yeah. The whole network is full of apparitions, I can't stop. He's swimming into my head. She got it. Listen carefully, I'm going to shut this thing down and get out of here, but I'm going to bring a few of them with me. I'll be surprised if I don't recognize you. Seriously, don't take it too personally. Uh, try not to kill me. Uh, no promises. So we should talk about how things went 20 kinds of crazy. You drew all those apparitions to the house. All my friends got killed. But I totally don't feel like it. But now I know what being possessed can do to someone. It's not cool. Look, I'll stop calling you killer from here on out. Fair? Fair. And that's about as good as it's ever going to get between us. Okay. Um, Black Channel Protocols finale, dust to dust. Everything we learned about the apparitions, the awakening. Black Channel Protocols, used to one man, no Vargas. Head of Dust Special Operations. If anyone knows how all of this started, it will be him. You need to break into Dust Spec Ops Station, DSEC, and find out what Colonel Vargas knows. The Asylum <clears throat> and Mother Mayhem decided that his knowledge of the threat was enough to shut down all communications between him, his men, and the whole of the outside world. And that means First Ward has a crisis on its hands. Now, considering my experiences at the Sierra Network, I wouldn't call this next bit exactly lucky, but I had enough apparitions swimming around in my head. And I've narrowed down a location. Yeah, and it throws another weird spine into the works. I felt the magical elements of the apparitions of the network, which mean pretty much pokes 
all kinds of holes into my theory of them being the ghosts of dead psychics. Uh, so listen, um, listen, Hankos. I'm still pretty shaken about what happened back there, so I'll just tag along in your head for this outing. Just walk in this door. It's next to me, but it's also not next to me. Oh wait, investigate these. Uh, let's take a look at that information. So we need to break in. Okay, so we do need to get in there. Maybe there's some kind of open. Guys, a little, uh, we're a little lost in this one. I was almost certain that just saw this. What the hell is this? This is right above me. I can This just leads to the other side. So last time there was a mission like this, it was kind of like... There we go. As I guess it was actually like surprisingly close. Or was it going to leave some rubble? I guess we kind of found it. Of course, about the separation of the Akiri psychic senses, you can feel the apparitions running around the building. So, or he's dead. Is he actually dead? Uh, guys, <laughs> we didn't make it. So we gotta find these files. Okay. something pops out the computer, then, uh, then I don't know what to do. Colonel Duray, IDF to Colonel Vargas. 
Um, great work on shutting down the CNN network, Vargas. If my condolences for the losses you have suffered at Arclight, Red and Mousetrap, um, etc. At all. Not the experiment is safely contained. I can lift the black channel. Your orders are to recall all those operators with knowledge of these events back to DSEC. I'm sending a recovery team to the briefing personnel and retrieve all data regarding the incident. See to it that both personnel and data are secure at DSEC prior to our arrival. Idea of lockdown in progress. Recovery team in route. Zen mobs are. Welcome. You've heard the orders before it gets uh, dead. I'm at. We will sit down and wait for the idea of recovery team. Good soldiers. That's an order. Looks like we're not going to uh, reach any parts of the video. So that's fine. Um, hopefully, maybe we can find a decent place to like run along a little bit more if we can. I've been trying to hit down with this all the time. I think we're actually just looking for the computers. Let's see the new sectors. That are archives. There's no reason we can't do this. Are these the Seeker drones? So no matter there, that way I can look around, where we can do the multitask. There's a subjugator there. It looks a little weird. Oh, it's okay. The planet needed them. Um. 
yet to find the uh, <clears throat> these data archives. Just make sure we're not missing anything. Who's that over there? Oh, that's Colonel Vargas, right? What's this? Let's make sure we didn't miss anything. The civil is where one of the okay, this was it. I'm sorry. No, it blew itself up. That's a closed door. So What's he doing? What's he <laughs> Big Mega Man? Giant Mega Man. Oh. Sorry to see you guys here. Let's have them attack this guy. He's meant to get away. He had a he had a goddamn power suit on. Oh. Okay, 
can we have can we get that guys? We have to exit there. There's nothing we could do. He's invincible. Interesting. Let's call him. Whenever you're ready to find the blind guy, that's how I send you his location. There we go. Travel well on this path and do well to mind the, each and every pebble, even the smallest. Um, and cause repose on a distant shore or find the spirit at the bottom of your shoe. Blind Mako. Blind Mako was uh, pretty cool for a crazy old blind guy. Sits around, uh, Receive you and talks to ghosts all day long, and he must be some kind of a force to be reckoned with because nobody messes with him. He told me he was a medicine man. So let's get it over to Blind Mom. I should turn that off so I can see a little longer. Something big happened here. Um, one day, guys, we do like a second run when I'm like much more acclimated to the game because we're doing okay, right? But it's mostly the pets doing most of the work, right? So we're kind of just coasting for the most part. We're not reading too much lore, we're kind of just playing the game, having fun. But I'd like to learn more about what's actually going on in this game. Except for me just smack him back and he's already pulled it. Let's talk to Blind Mom. I heard your name on the wind's hand close. Oh, do not be alarmed. Winds do not speak to just anyone. Talk with them and you talk with me. You share many old stories. Stories I used to share with the dead. Until that witch stole my sight. You now I talk and listen, but my friends, the spirits of those who have passed are gone. I only have the winds now to keep me company. The winds and the fish. And sometimes the carnival to visit, but seldom to hear my stories. Perhaps you came for stories as well, but I suspect you seek knowledge of the spirits, like all the others. Dark visions. Um, I do not need my sight to feel that um, the first word is in pain. I am bleeds and the people are full of sorrow. Everywhere that one hears the people lament about their plight, and it carries these cries to my ears. I feel for their pain, but nobody has asked what the spirits need, what they desire. At such times, people forget to pay their respects, and their ancestors are forgotten. The spirits are angry, and if they are not given peace, then the suffering of the people will have only just begun. Since I have lost my spirit sight, Hiccups, I will need your help in learning what is needed to calm the fire in the hearts of the great ancestors. Dark Vision's perfect third emperor. The name of a villain? It's a good name. I know it will be easy. I know it will be easy for you, Hiccups. You are a great warrior. While I'm an old medicine man, a frantic and troublesome one, a journey beyond the complete of my home. But do not fret, the call of adventure stirs the blood even in this bag of bones. However, there is still some, uh, there is still time, better left to sitting and studying the path we will take. In need of the earth of some graves of the Mercy View Cemetery, from the Mercy View Cemetery, much magic can be found there, and magic will guide us on the rest of our journey. We will take these seven bags, fill we'll each bag with seven handfuls of earth from a grave. One grave, seven handfuls, one bag, no more, no less. A warrior must remain humble. Remember that no task is beneath their calling. Okay. Not it comes. So that is some dirt. I guess we're stealing the dirt. dirt we're dirt napping it. I think that's why it's called Dirt Napper. Okay. Let's push forward. Guys, guess what it is? It's almost a weekend. <laughs> Friday's right around the corner, guys. What did I tell you at the start of the week? Right before you know it.
Let me do one so we're not gonna get they're trying to harass us right away. That's fine. that didn't actually work on me. We're like, we're like almost halfway to 28, right? That's not too bad. Which means uh, we can definitely hit 28 by tomorrow. So. I definitely like that. We have a teleport, guys. So okay, let's grab this dirt. Long range teleport and fast travel. Fast travel and long range teleport. Hmm. Where can we put these things? Ah, uh, we have our trays locked, so let's. Uh, Let's see if we can lose some stuff around. So we have that, that. And why, why not? Um, what's this here? Long range teleporter. It's already here. And we have fast travel too. What does fast travel exactly do? Device quick access to your person or group teleportation. It's not pop it. Oh, okay, so. It lets us use one of these things. So I don't know what's better to have, just a fast travel? Right, one more teleporter. Yeah, that's better to have. What's this here? It's our reports portal, so we don't need this one anymore. Technically, this is a travel pump, so I want to have it like where all the other travel powers are at. Our tray is getting pretty full up, though. Let's um, figure out what we can do here. I don't think we're going to need Sprint. We have Athletic Runner ready. Fly. Leave Group Fly here though, guys, because uh, in case I need to access it quickly. You know, these are just my pure travel powers. We could probably put Group Fly down there though. I 
like having a... We're in menu hell right now. A little bit of menu hell. Uh, let's see. So, aggressive. Okay. Things are right here. Except for one thing. Nice. Distortion. Okay. I think we're going to get this. Let's grab the rest of this dirt. about that we have that. Studies the bags of dirt each in turn before pulling up and pull dirt out. One and letting it sift between its fingers. He lets out a thoughtful grumbling. Good, good. The dirt speaks to me of the seven sacred directions north to sorrow, east to victory, south to peace, west to death, west below us, and the sacred fire at the center. Their eternal wisdom is a proven guide <laughs> when you find yourself without direction. Now it is to the west you must go, to the land of death, the heart of the second city, the dead gather. There you must seek out the keystone apartments, a place where the spirits often convene. Thanks to be part of this circle and to discuss the troubles of the world, their ancestors. Discover what troubles them so that they would uh, so that they put would plague the living. Take these censers and uh, grave dirt in this bag. For each censer place a handful of dirt within. Light the censers. And the spirits will see that you come in peace. And uh, I'm never gonna have to like. I'm never actually like inside something. Oh wait, he said the apartments. That's what he wants to get to the apartments. This is the second city here. What the hell is that thing over there? Just a texture. That's what it is. This should probably be the last class, guys. That we're doing today. We kind of got a lot done. It started off kind of shaky. It did definitely get a lot of times. Where's the end? There's something going around. What the button? Oh, here it is. It's this. 
setting at the center. Alright, so we'll finish this mission up again. So then I'll take a short break. But, you know, restroom, water, all that stuff. You know, switch games up. And hopefully get some good rounds and some progress done. But it sounds like a good one. To me, at least. I guess uh, I was too close to it. Okay. Let's make sure that we don't have any on the second level. Pretty sure we are going to need to use the stairs. I think we uh, did look all the way around. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we can take group five now. I saw that second thing, so good here. Just for the sake of the sanity, okay, nothing's in here.
Sí. Do the living take time to talk to us or the past? Your fire is welcome, friend. Tell me who troubles you. Why are angry spirits attacking the living? Mm -hmm. I've heard and seen the tragedy of what you speak. My story is but the story of one. You must hear all sides before we can see, uh, see the truth. I just need to know how to stop them. Patience is a virtue the living can never truly possess. I expect it from you. The dead, however, often have a great amount of patience. No fault sometimes. I will call the others to the council fire. And then you shall hear what is true. Speak to the spirits, listen to the spirits. There is no anger here. It is the lands, peace which burn. The self has become like the moon. There is no spirit of death people anywhere. Is a living who can find no peace. But the spirits of the living are building against the living. Oh, you must help the spirits of the living to find peace. Only then will the self once again be the self. I don't understand. That I cannot help you. All I know is that the spirits of the living are broken and angry. When we're broken, when you will calm the fire in their hearts. Okay. Now let's uh, let's at least get the beginning of the next quest, and then we'll do the break thing, guys, and uh, we'll switch games up. Uh, this has been fun, guys. Um, so let's see what we can do about this right here. I just told you that these apparitions are the spirits of the living. There is black magic at work here, because I do not fully understand what has transpired. Sometimes to counter black magic, you must also use black magic, and I know where to find some of the blackest magic of all. The laws of the spirit realm aren't so different from our own. There is, however, one rule of um, that the dead must obey, and that is that the dead can be changed, but the living exists to do exactly this. Um, everything we do causes change. When brought you to me as a wanderer, and goes by you are a friend. Shades of blue. The magic I need is in the Book of Binding and requires the Dust of Chains. Both can only be found inside the Midnight Mansion, the former residence of um, the once powerful Midnighters. Hey, I remember them. The Midnighters were a group of powerful arcanists who fought for good and truth, but they were destroyed from within by one of their own, Mr. Midnight. Midnight seized the Midnight Mansion and all the artifacts and sorcery the Midnighters had accumulated over the decades. That sorcery includes the Book of Binding, the Dust of Chains, and I need you all to get it. Where's this mansion? The Amaya Mansion is powerfully boarded, and only those invited to its doors or the Submit can get Luckily, there's someone who knows a secret back there inside, the Wizard Cerulean. The Wizard Cerulean was one, was one of the men who escaped by Submit's betrayal. Speak with Cerulean. I'm sure he'll help you. Okay. So, we have our next set of quests, guys. Um, cool. Very cool. I'm pretty sure tomorrow we'll hit level 28. Uh, with that said, though, guys, we are going to take a break from this game. We're going to take a break in general, about 10 minutes or so, guys. Um, we're going to use the rest of all that kind of stuff. I'm going to set up the next game. Guys, Vampire Survivors in about 10 minutes or so. Um, with that said, it's been fun. If you're here just for City of Heroes, guys, I do want to say thank you for stopping by. And if you want to see me again tomorrow night, it's a chance to give me a follow, guys. And um, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, that's usually when you can find me, guys. Uh, with that said, let's take a little break. Be back in a little bit, guys. Uh, sit tight. See you all soon.
guys. We are back. Um, we're going to be playing some Vampire Survivors tonight. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Let's have a little bit of fun, shall we, guys? It's been, uh, you know, we've been playing this game in our winding down portion of the stream, but, uh, you know, an hour each time is not going to be enough. We need a little while to get warmed up, get some stages in, get some unlockables unlocked, all that good stuff, guys. This is Vampire Survivors. And uh, we're going to be playing it, guys, and having some fun. So let's check our unlocks. Uh, you have survived 15 minutes with Giovanna, Canchara, Zaya Santa, Rochi. Um, 20 minutes with a curse, gets her on his box to level 9. Hold well, nine different weapon evolutions at once. That's going to be something. Uh, guys, we need a power up. No. Let's unlock a character and then we can work on power ups. Who should we unlock, guys? Who's a good solid character? I think Zaya Santa is a, a good one, huh? But they're a lot of money, I see. Conchetta, I know I do not like. Um, we're going to have to get them eventually, but <clears throat> as for now, uh, maybe the Mario? Uh, either way, guys, we're going to need to unlock them all, right? We're going to have to get them. Um, who would be a good character? Rumba, uh, the wheel's not too bad. You know what? I have an idea. Let's use Pascalina, first of all. Now let's try this, uh, where's this crazy ass stage? The hidden, um, hidden Glon Congo? What's our comments? Well, I was hoping they would kind of do that right there, right? Okay. Whoa. This was a bad choice. We need someone with a solid of solid weapon. Maybe, maybe, um, yeah, this is not, this is not going to end well for us. Chick would have been nice. What hit me there? Do I have to make it to the end? I don't remember how to do this stage, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, I'll show that one more time, just for fun. Maybe we should just pick Poe. I don't know, I feel like the Mario might be good here. No. <laughs> 
That was rough. Hmm. I really do want to do this one. Um, how about we try? <clears throat> Let's give the old man a shot. And then um, we'll just continue on with the regular stages because we're kind of just wasting time here. Hoping I get like a chicken or something. Nope, it's not, not going well, guys. So. Man, I can't get a handle on that stage. I don't know why. Oh, wait, we didn't even get our power-ups. Let's get that. Let me speed this cut out. Growth. I oh, can't get about growth yet. Um, recovery. About recovery. Duration. I think that's good right there. Okay, so... Uh, Use Karachi. Looks like we're missing some stuff here, unless we have to do the hyper mode. Um, hmm. I'm doing it again. Content. <laughs> Let's try for real, right, and then we'll do the regular stages, because we do have to unlock stuff, we can't keep doing this. So.
gone. Be gone. Yellow sign. Permanently allows the detection of hidden items in all stages. Oh, this was that that crazy stage. What the hell was that? Oh, what? That was the fever dream stage. The search machine. You know, I can't read this, guys. But we got it. I don't know if we need to level it up or anything like that. Probably not. There's a thing to level up. But we made it through that stage, guys. Nice. So, we can rest easy. That was getting to me. And then we have a randomizer here. There's a whole bunch of stuff here now, too. Right. Um, let's do the bone zone. Should we do the hyper mode, guys? Is it worth even doing hyper mode? I can't really remember. Gonna do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit. Okay, so secret item down there. Oh, the rings are here too. Finally, um, hmm. I forget which one is better to get. Just head north. Get that movement speed on, boys. Oh yeah. Uh, mind me, guys. Just got some kitchen knives in my hand. I butter some bread. We are fast as fuck. Look how fast we is. <laughs> how fast we be going, guys? Oh yeah. Just try to level up. Um, hmm. Gotta be careful because we do have a bunch of items to get, so but that's probably gonna be it. Let's focus on actually getting them before it's too late. And hopefully we'll be able to kill whatever comes our way in the meantime. Right, there's at least four items. There's the two rings and then there's that uh um by Statero and East Arrow. I don't know the exact name of them. We made it to that stage, guys, finally. It was good, bro. Silver ring. Oh, we need the clock line set, too.
Ooh, okay, so submarine all base area by five effect less five percent. So I think it is like silver ring and gold ring because gold ring makes the monsters like spawn more frequently or have more health. It's something like that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this guy has a lot of life. Yeah, he's uh, he's tanky. He's beefy. Be careful. Old, boring. Me do me do numbers. This is the bone zone. Huh? So, this, oh shit. Let's just try to make it work. We definitely should have leveled up a little bit before we decided to go get them, though, because we're underpowered. We kind of have shitty, shitty weapon on the up right now, too. Just get that. At least we're protected from those projectiles. This is a bad run. See, this is why we needed a lot of time. And I believe once we get that one, we're gonna. Uh, there's gonna be a, a yet another. I think these are Atlanteans. They're called. Then yeah, we're gonna have to deal with. Just a bad oh, right there, guys, right? Oh, I didn't mean to revive. Oh. Guess we're here. We should have spent time leveling up before we went for those uh, items. Because even though the gold ring is right there, other damn Atlantean is going to pop up. I'm almost positive on that. We're not doing too good in the damage department. I got too greedy, for sure, guys. Yep, there he is. So we need to clock lance it as well. On top of that, just a bunch of uh, 
That wasn't the right belt. Right, we need some bubbles. Yeah, that was just a bad run. I can't fix it. Oh, we're back. Prison rules, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. That was, I would even say it's a good run. There was no problems. Let's try that stage again. And uh, we'll take our time this time. Let's get some kills. Oh, we can. Ooh, yes. Stole us. guys right this is uh this is fine we're doing we're doing good we're doing good now. We're gonna need it. We have not yet amassed no, enough power, so I can't do anything about it yet. So we're gonna um, try some other cross. I'll take it. 
But you're not going to get that chance, alright? We're going to have to wait. Our items in it. Plus, it's almost fully leveled. I think the cross could just uh, evolve by itself, right? Pretty sure. Don't see it anywhere, so I'm gonna assume that's the case. Unless we're missing the holy combination. Um. Let's banish the heart. We might have needed it, but I don't know that. Because that one has like more already, right? So we might as well just keep pushing that one as much as we can. I think these little dragon skulls can move too. Like slightly. Unless I'm pushing them back with my weapon, which uh, makes sense as well. A few more levels. Thankfully, we're getting the weapon level that I want to get level. The axe might have <clears throat> the axe might have been a good choice here too, right? Because it turns into the scythe. Uh, I think it's pretty powerful. Chickens. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, crap. Oh, we tried.
the wrong way too. I should have went for the silver ring first. No! You're doing pretty bad for this. Are we missing the, um, the, um, the random muzzle, the cards? We are, huh? It should have, it should have popped up first thing. If we fail with him, I think we'll go Poppy for this stage. It might be a better choice and we'll, we'll use our Song of Mana. I think that X would be a good idea in this stage as well. So hopefully we can get that. And hopefully we have a little bit of money too, so we can unlock uh, some more power-ups. is here. Let him touch us. Let's make a beat on the guys, or maybe we can salvage this run. I think we still have like at least uh, one more revive under our belt. Make no mistake, this thing is really far off. Mm -hmm. Let's get eight this back right. I'm trying to get either on them guys basically. Doesn't matter which one. No! Can we revive? Okay. We're just a we're just a little dead, guys. We're still good, we're still good. We might be able to come back from this. 
Just maybe we might be able to pull it off. Here we got the swords. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> we got snipe in the What? More revive. Oh yeah. Let's go. Maybe we can salvage us too. This maybe this crazy plan might work. Slightly better. We didn't really get shit though, so kind of wasn't worth the trouble. Um, what I think we're gonna do, guys, let's go, Poppy. Let's go, Poppy. Let's use this sprite right here, and uh, let's do bone zone again. There, we definitely forgot to have our Arcana Zone, which hurt us in the long run, but uh, it's okay. I had, a, I had a tough decision to make there, but we're ready to go. Trust me, guys. Um, should we do the Bible? Should we do the pentagram? Pentagram. I hope we don't destroy the ring or anything like that. So, we can't afford to let that happen, so let's take our time here. It's important that we get that kind of grandma out the way first, right? Um, so we could afford to get the crown as well. Garlic. 
Yep. Some new mana. Shit. From that. Which means we should move down a little bit because I don't want to delete that chest by accident. So we'll be fine here. As long as we train our little skeletons to come closer to me. This pentagram will kill one of those patients uh, that we have to fight. Should just delete these skeletons. Curious. right into that chest. Not truly going over there yet, guys. What I'm doing is uh, just repositioning so that we're away from those chests, because they could still get the lead for sure. guys. Finally. Oh, don't we get everything for it. That's fine. We still have our chest here. Two more of those. We could uh, definitely use some crowns and crowns and, and pinty grams. Yeah, uh, pretty good help. A pretty big help.
No. You're doing so bad. the crown but get the song. Okay. <laughs> Only one death. Only one death. We still have a chance guys. Let's get those chests. It's never what I hope it is. It's kind of a bad, bad fall. We need it, um... We need... Some crowns. Like some king crowns. I am trying to kind of, uh... Yeah, we have one to banish. What do we banish the attractor? Um, I don't think we needed that, did we? Shit. Well, it's too late now. Um, what do we need? Three crowns. So you have to be really lucky, basically. We don't want to get any of these. We have no choice. Um, Santa water, I guess. We deleted the attract orb, so kind of pointless, but. There was a green skeleton stair. We're doing bad, guys. We are doing pretty bad. Let's try it again. <clears throat> I guess we'll take it off of hyper mode for now. We'll save hyper mode for when we have back everything. That's something I could think to do. And um, let's see. Moving story though, because it's uh, off of hyper mode. Fortunately. Uh, do I want any of these? Vanish. Vision.
Oh man, what do we get here against this? We banish something? Still gonna have to go for you know, the goal is to get like all the rings, right? The rings and then um those two border items and I saw there's a character down there that we can as well. We need to get to like a reasonable level and do like some decent damage before we go for the rings. Um Let's get the armor, because why not? Very good. Stuff we needed. Now we just need um, Rune Tracer, we need the Sound of Water, uh, need the Magnet. Focusing, guys. I'm sorry for the silence, right? <laughs> Tired of dying. I would like to win a stage. I'd like to beat a stage, right? I'd like to win the game.
I'm just kind of slow going then. We always make like kind of shitty weapon choices. Unless it's a dagger, guys, you can never go wrong with that. One last mana scroll. Or song of mana paper, right? One one more power oh, for that. So, hopefully some rune traces will drop, uh, that'll be cool. I think we should start pushing, because we're walking very slow, and it's going to be quite a walk over there. We don't have the same walk speed that we used to. same time. Would just cause more problems for us uh, at the moment, at the very least. Tracer leveled. Okay. 
Grim freaking death is here. Hey, okay, luckily the Santa Ward is leveled up. Let's um, open a Gormorg. Uh, should we risk it, guys? Let's open. Well, Super Witch Racer. God damn it. Take the retracer. Yeah. Okay. Actually, almost that's it. Almost completely. Oh, did Def leave? Def said Def will finish harassing us. Okay, we're starting to cook, guys. I'm starting to feel more confident. Uh, hold on, though. We definitely need to fix the way we're sitting, guys. It's been a, it's been a few hours. My back. Can't take it right now. Uh, guys, I hope you've been enjoying the night with me. We have roughly an hour left, or right something. So, uh, we're getting warmed up. We're getting warmed up here. Hopefully we can like do some good things in this run. I have a feeling that uh let's see. We don't have much time left. This is the this is the problem right now, right? We spend a lot of time leveling up. Which is unfortunate. There we go, we get the holy water. Um Maybe we should push forward. Let's gain one more level and then we can big do a big push. Let's go. It's very far away from here. We have the time? Sure hope so. not too far away from it. Okay. Let's uh try to get another level quick. Yes. 
Okay, what do we got here? Mm -hmm. Iron Blue Will. Gel of Crystal. There we have this weapon's come up counterpart. Crystal. Okay, let's get that ring. forever be played by that um unfortunate but let's try hopefully we can get in a couple of uh, levels i don't think this is how we're supposed to do things though i think we're supposed to make a beeline for them to get them start leveling them up get them powered up and be able to kill those uh to like guardians of them right because we spent a lot of time um just leveling up our powers and uh, uh, we're not gonna have time to level up those rings i don't think but that is the issue they're having I think we uh <clears throat> think we went about this all wrong but it's fine right i i feel like we ought to at least be able to finish the stage maybe we'll have enough power to unlock the, the bonus character this down there oh uh, maybe that's a big maybe we'll see maybe if um we evolve a weapon or two i guess i put a lot more time into this guys right so i could get it uh, as good as I was on the Xbox, which was, uh, you know, not too bad. But I did play it an awful lot on the Xbox, though. Should we? Hold on a second. Yes, we should. Oh fuck, I thought we had max range races.
that air damage is no point off. two revives though at the very least so that's a that's a good thing but we're definitely just not hitting them so we should probably make a beeline for the those items so we'll try this one more time if we die which i have a strong feeling we're going to if we get us around it. And um we'll pick Gennaro, which is because I'm most comfortable in him. We'll see if we can be really, really um cheap with him too. I feel like that chest moved, or the, the casket, or the coffin. Coffin moved, didn't it? damage is like technically vertical. We need some horizontal damage guys. Oh shit. Well, we can't get the ring now. Because we are in a bad spot. The ever rising tide is here. I, I don't even know if we'll make it to that question mark. We're just gonna have to get what we can get now. There's no way we can't get the shit. Let's get these gems before it's too good. Because uh, since that water's rising, I want him to potentially, you know, at least have a chance of dying. We could collect the chest. Okay, cool. We at least got one heart. Jesus, <laughs> that took a long time. Huh? Wait, did we, uh, I think we killed the, the enemy that was making the water rise. Oh, shit. Skeleton ball. So I guess we could get the gold ring. I don't think it's gonna do us any good though, but I'll try. Oh, is this thing just collecting more skeletons? We can't even hurt it, I realize, right? I do think it is indeed collecting more skeletons. Hmm. Well, 
It's just a skull. I thought that was a uh, like an item on the floor. Oops, my mistake. Or at least, it, or at least we're going to get the golden ring. As far as leveling it up, it's uh, not going to happen. That's for sure. At least I think we're going to get the golden ring. I'm kind of, kind of sure. Okay, at least got them both. That's cool. enough to get a few more levels uh, maybe only maybe though guys I'm not, I'm not on that. oh god big headed big headed skeleton wait what happened no okay that was uh no good all right let's try it out one more time, shall we? They got a lock level up. Let's, um, you get a survivor. Missing a lot of stuff. He's dead! <laughs> yeah, we're having uh, growing pains here. Well, let's try it. Let's try it one more time, guys. Right, I want to get the stage done. Then. Let's picture Noro. Let's do the bomb thing. I wrote that. Oh, well, we're definitely going to get this right here, right? And um Lock Lancet. Okay. 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 Let's really focus on this one. We're gonna do our best. This is a, a butter knife and a bread knife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was pure luck, because I really wasn't looking at the screen. I'll take it though. Trail guys, we're heading north. We 
had a card, right? I think they did. The shield, though. Uh, look at the shield. Let's see. Let's have uh, another push towards the ring. Almost there. to really, really move. Yes. More knife. I'll always take more knife, guys. because maybe we'll have time to come back for it. I think we'll just get the two rings for now, right? And then next time I'll focus on um, the items on the left and right hand side. I carefully thought out shield. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if we're standing on that. I can remember that this is not garlic, right? This is just a shield.
Uh, we can't really kill him. Not right now. But he has a lot of life. I, mean, I was just trying to whittle him down a little bit. We do need some bubbles though. Definitely. We kind of actually put ourselves in a bit of trouble here. Because we're going to have to dodge all these like red uh, skeletons. like dragon skeletons. It's, uh, it's not good. We're running a gauntlet right now. We're going to have to see if we can bait a few more skeletons over here. Yeah, because I need... Hmm. I just got this because I need it. Just our shield holding up right there. If we happen to get a level and it's like uh, some speed, maybe we'll get those two. Maybe. No promises, guys. We're definitely using a lot of time just making it over there. Right there, we could have been using getting skeletons. Uh, getting levels, actually, not skeletons. So hopefully we're not going to be in a shitstorm once we make it there. Which uh, might be the case. We're the ones getting boned right now. That's <laughs> that's what's going on. Thank you. We appreciate it. Rob to a rough start, honestly. Maybe we should have. Um... That guy is hungry. I'm actually hungry too. I'm just focused on getting uh, this golden ring and then maybe we could try to get some levels. I feel like we're on the level too. I think definitely we are in the level. We've been making a beeline for these rings. Slightly harder, huh? <laughs> only, only a little bit. Well, we're, we're good at uh, 
kind of a back down style, right? but eventually we're going to have to buckle down and get some kills in. And we're going to have that, um, we're going to have that guardian on our ass right now. The minute we get this uh, golden ring, there it goes. There it goes. All right, so now we can try to get some kills in, at the very least. No, it's more like the, uh, isn't it like the fact? We, we did this a handful of times with some other characters. Kind of, kind of almost 15. Let's go. I think, uh, I think we'll be fine now, though. I have a decent amount of knives, so we can start leveling. Hopefully get some kills in the belt. Uh, oh, we don't have the gauntlet to, to evolve the knife. So we do need to go in the goodness, right? I kind of forgot. Well, we haven't been getting enough levels, honestly. So that should change pretty soon. Yes. One more knife. One more knife. So let's collect some of these gems. I think uh, isn't Death coming from from below as well? At some point he's gonna show up and, and start dragging water with him. Uh, yes, silver ring. I forgot what you get when you combine all three of these things, right? The block lance hit and the two rings. Hopefully, maybe we'll get to see it. Only maybe. We should just bite the bullet and open one of these chests.
That's not good. Definitely use this. And it's coming to counterpart. Elf. Hmm. I don't see us getting any of these. Maybe this? There's no four chickens though. This is not a problem at all, actually. just keep walking. Maybe I should just keep walking north. God, a lot of smoke is there. Okay. I think we have uh, one more rerun of it at least. Well, I was going to go for the chest, but maybe next uh, circle we make. Assuming we live long enough to get the experience from it. Someone have the gauntlet. Oh, 
comparison to water. So we kind of need the experience before it's too late. Take it. No, I know I could deal with these, right? So we just walk that straight line. Get some free experience. Finally got the bracer. Okay. <laughs> that was a popcorn skeleton. Yes. Yes. I'll take that. get here guys what the heck? Nice. oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah okay yeah 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 no <laughs> is that actual game over no we just got our power up guys <laughs> Oh man, we're gonna start cooking. Oh man, we need a lot more practice. We have a we have a little bit of time, guys. What if we do one more, one more, then we call it a day, huh? Because I am getting hungry. So we'll do one more run, guys. Um, it's obviously not working out though. What if we picked? Uh, I kind of want to use our something. Like... <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, we did get fucked. So far, all my good choices that I well that I assumed were good choices, we kind of been sucking. But it's a skill issue, right? We're just uh, super rusty. What if we went? We could pick a Valo. Or maybe we could lock, unlock Arca. Let's get Arca. Let's try this one last time, guys. Right? Win or lose, that'll be it. 
Pretty much. So there's uh, that. I really want to get the axe, so hopefully we'll get the axe. We're at the mercy of our, our fireballs right now. feeling about this one guys what could go wrong <laughs> what could go wrong guys hmm? Pushing down on this this dumb pad so hard, guys. I feel like I'm getting faster, but I know I'm not. Okay, so what should we get here? All the axe. Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, we got we got it this time, guys. Right. 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 Thank you. Good. Spinach. So I think we need to empty Tom, right? I'm pretty sure. I want to get it, but we're not going to.
it's a rough one guys. you know i do love the duplicator but uh, if we're eventually going to go for those rings we are going to need the clock on it we'll just have to prioritize like our damaging weapons first I think, um, I think no matter what we do, right? Even if we kept out the items we pick up, it's not going to matter because the rings are still going to be there, and we can still get them. I think at least that's how it works. I got to be careful because they do respawn close by. Just get these gems. Jinx it. But I'm doing a lot better. I think, uh, this, this might be the run. <laughs> that, that's what I think of these guys. If it's not, I'm leaving. But if it is, I'm leaving too, guys. Uh, I want to grill cheese. Getting getting the garlic is often tempting. Let's boost the items we have while we can. Granted, it would have been a huge protection or a boon for me right here. Because eventually we're going to get all those projectiles, and uh, I don't know how we're going to can drive them. Maybe we'll have enough uh, left over to uh, power up a little bit. And we might see a garlic, right? Maybe. Not passing through them, I just realized. That's a shame. Is kind of doing it well. The only thing that's actually doing is that Alex, right? And uh, the clock lancet. Maybe our next power up.
was fired there. Okay, I'll take it though. Need that damage. I really want to get it ready yet. Yeah. We need, we need a lot of it. So we need uh, three spinach. Three spinach and we'll be good, guys. We need we need um the pushback the long gives us. Or the knockback the pushback. Same thing. We're gonna, we're gonna hold off for our reward. But I do want that. Jello Crystal. We have a little bit of protection from these projectiles, only because we have our, our wand. And this tracking is pretty good. But it shouldn't... Uh... Well, I'll do my best to not get surrounded, but uh, you know, that's a tough thing to do.
I can, I can almost never not get the duplicator. It's too valuable. What do we need? Like uh, two spinach? I think we have enough spinach for it to proc, right? Let's uh, let's actually try it. There we go. Okay. And um, so there we go. Boys, I think you need like most of them, like three or four of them, to uh. You know, you need the full, like, uh, first version and the, the second one. You need, like, half of it. That's what I think the formula is. Hmm. Did we get the wrong tracer? Actually, let's open our corn more, guys. Um, should we make a? Should we try to get the uh, the ring? It's kind of far away, but let's try to get it. Here we uh, clear this out a little bit. Guns are. Seems like it. Not to worry too much. But I should still worry a little bit. Jesus. Why is it so far away? A little bit of progress here, guys. Where is it? Let's push forward. I 
make a uh, I was gonna say we're making a good time in terms of but these uh these like bone angels. We have to deal with them. Okay, so we have those two. Um, what do we need with that? I think we have enough actually. Can we go back and get the chest. Let's try. We can definitely use another layer of damage. I think we're in an okay spot, guys. <laughs> I think uh, I think this is uh, pretty decent. Let's uh, let's really try to get to that ring. We have like I think this might be 25 minutes, but it might be 30. So we have like uh, five to ten minutes, R uh, roughly. Let's see if we can make all this work. Unless it's death himself, right? That's the only time we're allowed. Yes. Right there. Okay. Kill this guy, he gets scared, right? Technically. Yeah. Let myself get caught in his vortex. Because I think you kind of get pulled in a little bit if he touches you. Like a tiny bit. Um. Tank the bass for sure. Ah, yeah. Give me that back. Take that. Okay. Uh, maybe we have enough time to get that one. Let's not get too arrogant, right? Because these skeletons, I could like walk into one, and just die. 
So let's be somewhat careful. We're too far. I don't think we'll have enough time, but I see a random Azure there. Maybe we're too far from it now? Shit. Let's keep pushing them. Oh, we're helpful, we're red hot. Pretty far, guys. And then we gotta get there and back again. Uh, that way we can get the chests. Uh, if we have enough time, I don't. I don't think we're saying that we will. I think it might end in a couple of minutes. I'm not sure. Grab this chest along the way, I suppose. It is uh, a lot farther than I thought it was going to be. It's okay though, because either it ends now-ish in about 10 seconds or in 5 minutes, so we should have it in 5 minutes. Okay, we have some time. Perfect. figure. We'll definitely um, I'll pop that into the Steam right after we're done with this. I'll definitely check it out for sure. This figure. I'm going to try to remember this figure. I really wanted to try out that like AI. There was like a crime AI game. Oh, I remember if I could talk to them, to the suspects. But then I lost interest very quickly. Ah, the ring. Step aside. I was looking for a good, like, spirit bomb one. Uh, lend me your power. But there was not really any good ones there. I had to make it.
Maybe we can make that one like a uh, hype train one. If we ever get a hype train. <laughs> right, uh, one day we will. Damn it. Oh, we got him down too. Oh god, yes. <laughs> Guys, we did it. We made it, right? All we gotta do is keep leveling, you know? Oh, um, I don't know. I just remember seeing, like, either his, I think it was Moist Cardiff playing it. And he was just, like, talking about, like, trying to figure out who, who got murdered and, um, that kind of thing. It was like, it was like a crime, um, it was like a late noir, I guess you would say, but, uh, the people you interviewed had like AI in, uh, installed in there. I watched him play for a little bit and it looked really cool and then I just got tired of it. I, I think me watching him play was like more than enough. Did we just get this chest? To, I'd have to look up that exact game. Yes, guys. We did it. We got juiced. Supercharged before the end. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Give me that. Take that. I'm proud of myself. I mean, we're, ne we're not going to have enough time to get anything else unlockable, for sure. So I'm pretty sure 30 minutes is the cutoff point. There's another chest down here. It looks like uh, if we just get one more level, get the ring, pop that bad boy in there, get the thunder loop. Oh my god, we're so strong. Got a whole minute to enjoy it, guys. <laughs> a whole 60 second minutes. Oh, we should have just hit the infinite golden. Oh, too late. I just wanted to get an unlocked. <laughs> right? Because it was the items here. Always coming back. Yeah, like you. Even now, it's not. It doesn't feel like it's doing a lot, but I suppose it is. <laughs> Come get some. Maybe we'll freeze him in place. Maybe we'll get lucky. God, no! <laughs> ah, 
Uh, yes. <laughs> Stay back. Bitch. Oh yeah, you don't like that, do you? Mm -hmm. Oh fuck. You got one more revive, don't we? Ah, stage completed. Okay, we did it though, guys. Yes. <laughs> so, about 20 minutes, at least uh, plus 10 curse. 30 minutes in the bone zone. Mm -hmm. That could last 40 minutes. That's all I'm saying. Uh, obtain the infinite corridor. Nice, we got Gallo. Uh, reach level 50 with Arca. Okay, Heart of Fire. Okay, we did it. We did it, guys. Yep. Just in time, kind of. Uh, a little a little later in guys it's been fun i do think that it's gonna be about it for tonight though um it's been fun i am gonna go get some food guys enjoy your night please hopefully um tomorrow night guys friday night we're gonna have a lot of fun we're gonna play um city heroes we're gonna try to get another level uh hopefully we can get like two levels right that'll be cool and um we'll get some vampire survivor, uh, survivors in maybe we'll go to like 2 a.m or so tomorrow night uh and as far as the weekend stream goes we're gonna have to take a rain check on the movie thing because uh, i have to make sure that we can watch movies together right so uh we'll wait we'll see how it goes oh right what was it called this figure we'll check out this figure as well just type that in the library now but guys i'm gonna get i'm gonna head off okay i'll just download it very good problem solved. So we'll check it out. Guys, Frank Ellis, I'm out of here. <laughs> good night, guys. See ya. Guess what, guys? Stream ending. Uh oh. Uh oh. Stream ending, guys.